Hey guys, I got caught out by this AWS 3 feature. I should have known long ago. I mean, I've been using AWS 3 for ages. I'm a solution architect associate exam taker and pass or whatever. I'm going to AWS reInvent next week. Um, if you're there, let me know. Um, but I got caught out by this one and um, it's basically why Amazon S3 calls them objects instead of files or directories. But let me just show you why. Let me show you why. So let's quickly set up a bucket. And I'm using the AWS S3 CLI. I think it's a little bit easier to work with. I'm, I'm setting it up as a website. Okay, so yeah, right, 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 right. Okay, that's it. So now if I, if I curl this bucket down with no content in there, it will give me a 403 of forbidden and custom error. So basically it's looking for 404 HTML. There is no 404 HTML and that's why it's moaning. So if I go say, um, or a four. When I do that curl again, it should. Oh, I should do a sync, shouldn't I? Um, I need to copy up that four or four, and then I curl it. Four or four. Okay, so the problem that I usually address with S three is getting like a website static. So the usual way I do that is like I. I create a video, a static site generator, usually in uh, Golang. And for example, at work, I needed to transfer things that had a URL like slash videos one, two, three. So the way that I do it is my static site generator does something like this, you know, like I, I create this sort of like structure. It's probably easier to see here. Videos one two three index.html, and let's do a sync up, and um, that works great, but uh, you'll see a problem very soon. Uh, videos, if I if I keep to the same URL that the, the the company was previously using, without the slash, without the slash, then it will redirect to the slash. Fine, but Here's the problem that I hit at work. If there is like, you know, a parameter like, um, you know, uh, param equals autoplay or something, that parameter will not get redirected. Ah, problem. How do you solve it? Well, um, I was a little bit stuck by this, but, um, but I, I figured it out and let me show you how, how, how it's done. So, you probably you might be thinking like I was that I, all I need to do is copy the one two three content here into one two three or something like that. But on a typical laptop file system, I'm using ext4 I think. You cannot have a file and a directory in the same place. This is why AWS3 calls them objects. It's genius. It does. You, you can have directories and files with the same name in the same place. Awesome, and the way it does prefixes is just it's it's very lightweight in in, in S three. You can go nuts with them. So so knowing this, knowing this, I fixed the problem at work. Doing a copy, uh, which would work something like this. Yep. And basically, the copying the, the index.html to one two three, and on S three, since it doesn't have um, sorry, since it doesn't have any of this sort of like difference between file and directory, it's not a problem. And now, if I do my curl, it won't do a redirect. You'll just get the content straight away. Hope that helps you guys. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.